Hey guys, another day, another reselling Q&A. I feel like my lighting is weird today. Is it too bright? Like, what do we got going on? I don't know. Um, okay, first off, I want to tell you guys some exciting news. Uh, first off, when I'm filming this, when this video is going to be up, it's my son's, my youngest son. It's his first birthday. Like, what? Literally the fastest year ever. Not okay. Like, I'm not. Time just goes by so fast. That's the first exciting news. Second is I was one of the winners in the Poshmark Heart and Hustle Fund um, the third round. They just had it recently. And yeah, I was one of the winners. I got 500 bucks, which was awesome. Um, I wasn't able to announce it until today. It's going to be like on their um, blog or whatever. I'll link that down below. I think they have another um, round. This was the third round. I think they have one more. Um, I will put again the link down below with all the info and how you can enter um, But yeah, that's super exciting. So thank you Poshmark. I'm really appreciative. Let's get in to this Q&A Okay, first question. Are you having shipping issues right now? I've had so many packages that say they were delivered, but the buyer never got them I really don't know what to do. Should I contact Poshmark or the post office? Yes, I'm having shipping issues Oh my gosh I don't I don't understand Christmas happens every year. The holidays happen every year. So why can't they be prepared? I mean, yes. Okay. It's a pandemic, you know, okay. You know, they might be short staffed, but I feel like even, even when there wasn't a pandemic, it was still a shit show around this time of year. And I don't know. I don't know. Um, I actually talked to my mail lady last night because for the past two days, I haven't gotten any mail. Like I've gotten packages, but I haven't gotten like letters and I'm waiting on a new friggin' debit card to come in the mail. So I'm like, what the fuck? Um, so yeah, I talked to her and she's like, yeah, we're just delivering packages. We're not delivering mail. I'm like, eh, what? She's like, yeah, I can't fit anything else in my truck. It's like, why don't they have bigger trucks for the holiday season? Like you'd think that that would be kind of like an easy fix. Like what? She's like, yeah, you know, it's not my fault. It's nothing I can do. I'm like, okay, but somebody has to be held responsible. Like I need my friggin' mail. I'm debating on going there today. It actually opens in three minutes. I want it to be there like when they open, but I might go there and be like, uh, can I have my mail? Because I get like um, emails, like you can sign up for the USPS, it's called informed delivery, and every morning you'll get an email with um, like pictures of the mail that you're getting that day, so I'm supposed to be getting mail, I know that, and yes, I've been having issues with like shipping and packages and people saying that they didn't get it and the post office and Poshmark saying that it was delivered. Um, I would contact the post office first, good luck. Don't call them. Go, like, in person because they don't answer the phones <laughs> this time of year, or at least my post office doesn't. I tried calling literally all day yesterday and just rang and rang and rang and rang. I'm like, what the fuck? I would go there in person and just be like, what's going on? And hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. I saw a meme the other day and it said, like, stop trying to track that package. It's in God's hands now, and it really is. I really hate this time of year. I mean, obviously, it's a great time of year. The holidays, yay, but... For shipping shit and buying shit, it's just a nightmare. Next question, do you have any tips for starting a Poshmark YouTube channel? Yeah, I have videos. I have videos on how to start a YouTube channel, not like Poshmark specifically. I'll link those videos down below. As far as starting like a Poshmark YouTube channel, just make whatever videos you want to make. Um, you know, don't try to be like other people. Don't try to copy people. Just be yourself. I know I have a couple videos on how to start a YouTube channel, so I'll link them below. Okay, next question. When do you think is a good time to go from part-time reselling to full-time reselling? I feel like that's different for every person. Obviously, you have to have, you know, money saved. You have to be able to pay your bills because reselling is a roller coaster. You know, not every day is going to be amazing. Not every week is going to be amazing, month, etc. Um, so yeah, so make sure you have like your funds in order. Make sure you know what you're going to do about health insurance. I can't really say like, oh, as soon as you make this amount of money, you should you know, go full time because it's different for every person. Your bills are different than mine. Um, so yeah, so I would just say have your funds in order and know what you're going to do about health insurance. Unless you're crazy and don't care about health insurance. I still have friends that are like health insurance. I don't have health insurance. I'm like, are you insane? Okay, next question. Hi there. Quick question. How do you get the smell out of clothes you thrift? I got this great ski jacket, washed it, steamed it, put it outside for two hours and the stale smell will not go away. Any other suggestions? Love watching your videos. Thank you, Michelle. Um, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, there's some things you just can't get the smell out of. Try using OxyClean. My husband swears by OxyClean. Like whenever I have something that's like stinky or like, um, if my youngest like has a blowout and there's poop or, you know, if somebody pukes or something and you know, there's like a stinky article of clothing, he's like, oh, let me do it. I'm going to get the OxyClean and do it. And 
most of the time the smell comes out so I don't know if you tried OxyClean um, I would try that maybe you need to leave it outside longer you said you left it outside for two hours maybe like a day or two um, but yeah, that's really all the tips that I have. If any of you guys have any tips, please comment down below. Yeah, last question. Hi, quick question. Have you ever noticed that your listing can be found even in your own closet? The other day I was going through all my listings and donating clothes that didn't have any likes or has been sitting in my closet. I had at least five tops that I couldn't find in my closet. I know that Poshmark may delete them if you use a stock photo. So I am guilty of three being deleted and it was makeup. So do you have any idea as to why they would not show up? I even have some that won't share. Like I click on it and it says shared and it doesn't go up to the top. Why? I ended up just deleting it because it annoyed me that much. LOL. Happy holidays. Stephanie, that happened to me the other day. I was looking for a pair of shoes, specifically my Hoka's, and I couldn't find them in my closet. I searched by brand. I searched by Hoka and like the brand wouldn't even show up. So that meant that Poshmark didn't even think I had that brand in my closet. So yes, that has happened to me. It's definitely a glitch. I don't, I don't know why. Um, as far as not being able to share something, that's super weird. Is it marked for sale? Maybe it's accidentally marked not for sale and that's why you're not able to share it. I'm curious if you were to delete the listing and then relist it, if they would show up. I might do that with my Hoka's to see. But yes, that definitely has happened to me. So I really think it's a glitch. Um, but as far as the thing not being able to be shared, I don't know. Again, check to make sure that it's marked for sale because that would be the only reason I can think of as to why you wouldn't be able to share it. All right, that is it for this video. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below. Send me a DM on Instagram or tweet me on Twitter. If you're new to Poshmark and you wanna sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit, so thank you. That's it, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, bye.